what a weekend it was. But Friday night, you may have noticed, Trey Young was a late rule out by the Hawks prior to their home matchup against the Nuggets for what was at the time listed as a shoulder injury. But there's more to that story. The Hawks did win the game without Trey, 117-109. For more on Trey Young, I want to bring back in our Anscape senior writer, Mark Spears, and just start there. What caused Trey to miss this game, Mark? Well, Trey was getting treatment on his shoulder on Friday morning. Uh, Hawks coach Nate McMillan came into the training room and asked Trey if he was going to take part in the walkthrough for that night's game against the Nuggets. You know, McMillan's policy is that if a starter doesn't take part in the walkthrough, they can't start. So McMillan asked Trey if he was going to take part in the walkthrough to play Friday. Trey told him, I said, well, I guess if I'm getting treatment, I can't play. And so Trey leaves. His agent ends up talking to the Hawks and communicates to Trey that either he will come off the bench or Nate wants him to stay home. So Trey took the option to stay home. Uh, that, that apparently was a miscommunication. Um, Trey said after this morning shoot around, he said, I don't necessarily agree, disagree with the choice that I've made to not go to the game. And he said it was a mutual decision between him and the coach. And, uh, you know, this morning or on Saturday, they talked on Sunday. They talked at practice. They talked to shoot around. They didn't talk Saturday, but they've talked twice. They're on the same page that they definitely want to move on. But they're both basically irked about the report coming out, getting leaked, curious to how it came out. Um, Trey said it was an unfortunate matter that went public. Um, and he was questioned about his leadership this morning. And he actually mentioned guys like Vince Carter, guys that have looked over him through the years, old, old teammates. And he said, you know what, this is something that he has to continue to get better in. And uh, he expects to play tonight uh, against Oklahoma City. But obviously, uh, this whole thing was a mess. And um, it's uh, <laughs> we'll see where they go from here. But they feel like if it didn't get leaked out, we wouldn't be talked about it, talking mm. about it right now. OK, expects to play tonight. Mark, thank you for all of that. Uh, here a lot was, going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and when there's a lot going on, that's when Kendrick Perkins takes to Twitter. And this is what he tweeted. <laughs> he wrote, quote, what's going on in Atlanta? Franchise players getting treated like the 14th man. Players leaking info to the media on their own teammates. Tomorrow can't come fast enough. Carry on. Hashtag NBA today. Well, tomorrow is today, as you tweeted that yesterday. So, Perk, your thoughts on Trey Young not being at Friday's game? <clears throat> well, three things. One, Trey was wrong, okay? He was wrong to the point that he should have showed up to the game. That's just my opinion. That's the only thing that Trey Young was wrong about. The second thing, if you're going to leak something to the media, don't be a source. Put your name behind it. That's a coward move. Don't be a source and leak it and say, oh, don't tell, don't tell them I told you that. That's bad for the locker room. The third thing, if you're going to address somebody, you do it to this fashion. Coach Nate McMillan, listen, my brother, I think you're a wonderful coach. But at the end of the day, you have to put your pride aside. This is not about you. This is not about your policy. We're talking about your franchise player in Trey Young, who you wanted to participate in shoot around that said he was getting treatment on his shoulder. You don't give him an ultimatum that he's either going to come off the bench or stay mm -hmm. home. Trey Young has had your back since you took over this job. You have to do better. Is it a reason that you got fired from the Pacers after making the playoffs? Do you have a problem with having the, the guys in the locker room really like you as an individual? Sometimes you have to humble yourself. We all know that franchise players get treated differently. And so what? It's part of the game. They earned that right. That's why they get paid the big bucks. You have to deal with it. Sometimes you have to bend the rules. No, I'm glad you started off with with Trey Young, and, and let me take people through. This is a this is a co very more common than people think because when we go through shoot around, if you're an injured player that might not you you know you're dealing with something, you're walking through the assignments of offense and defense. It's, it's not a run through. If you're getting treatment, you don't have to shoot, you don't have to lift, you don't have to do anything. You just have to walk through the defensive assignments that we're going to go through that night. You are going to help you and our team prepare. If you want to get treatment an hour before, you want to get treatment an hour after, fine. The 20 minutes that's on the court, he's not saying that you got to run and you got to shoot. You just have to be there while we're going through the defensive stuff. 
That's one. So when Trey was like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm getting treatment. Well, a lot of times coaches say that because they want you in there early or they want you in there late. They don't want you rolling in five minutes before talking about my shoulders hurt. It's like, well, did you get treatment? And it's like, oh, well, no, I didn't. Start. Anyways, the next part that I will say, if you are Nate McMillan, you have to be careful of losing your locker room both ways. You have to be careful of losing your locker room if you allow Trey Young to do something that you wouldn't allow the 14th man. Everyone should be treated not equally but fairly. And if this is something because, let me just talk about it, the Atlanta Hawks are still culture building. Yes, they had a great run a couple years ago, but if you look at their history, they haven't been a historically great franchise. Mm -hmm. Good, never great. So when I look at that, Nate McMillan has to do a much better job of making sure he doesn't lose that locker room. And that means, Trey, you are the best player. You are one of the best players in the league. You need to be held to the highest of standards. Yeah. The highest of standards, not just the, well, he's one of our better players, so we're going to not let him go through shoot around because then it starts to happen. Then DeJounte Murray does that. Then John Collins might be like, well, if he's doing it, then I can do it. Then you start to lose the locker room. So you got to keep the same energy for everybody. Trey made a mistake. He owned up to it. But there's mistakes on both sides of this. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.